and we are back and this time I'm going to show you how to create a geometric photo collage in Adobe Photoshop. All we need is a regular image. I'll copy that pressing Ctrl J. I've got your image as a backup. I'll open a new layer and now I'll decide what shape I'm going to use. I want to have a triangle so use the custom shapes. Use the drop down. There are tons to choose from. I'll just use this triangle over here, press enter and then I drag a triangle holding shift. You can see it has a stroke. I want to get rid of that. The fill color is not important. We can give that any fill color that we want. Obviously you need to have shape selected so make sure it is in your top menu. Now move it around with the move tool. I resize that pressing Ctrl T and then I hold Shift and I resize that. That's a good position. I press Enter. Now I hold Alt and I drag a copy out of it. I press Ctrl T once again and I size it down holding Shift. When I rotate it, I hold Shift as well. And now I'm going to repeat the process a couple of times until I've got a nice collage of triangles. Alright, that looks nice. You can see every triangle is on a different layer. I want to change that, so I go to the top one, then left click on the last one while holding shift and they're all selected. Then I press Ctrl E to merge them. Now I put the image on top of them, then right click and create a clipping mask. I can move the image around within the collage, so within the triangles. And if I want to move the triangles along with the image, I need to select both. So I shift click on both layers. We need a background, as you can see right now it's transparent. So I go below the image and the triangles, open a new layer and I use the paint bucket tool. Let me use gray. We could also sample a color from the original image. So use the color picker for that. And left click with the paint bucket tool on your background. Now obviously I need to make it the foreground color. And that's how to do this. I want to add some blending options to the triangles. So, so right click on that layer. I want to add a stroke. Let me make that white. And you can play around with the size. Right now it's inside. I want to have it outside. And you can see the difference here. I want to make it smaller. Maybe something like this. Should be fine. I go down with the opacity just slightly. And I want to add a drop shadow. I can drag the shadow with a left click directly in the canvas and that adjusts the angle and the distance, opacity and size. I'll adjust it further manually. Obviously you could change the color here as well but I want to keep it black. Let me decrease the opacity a little bit. And that's fine. I press OK. And here's our original compared to what we've created. Obviously you could use any shapes that you want. Under the custom shapes you will find tons to choose from as defaults. Try it out yourself.
I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.